Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, November 8th, 2011. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Saturday Independent Newspaper. In tonight's news, Senator Eric Stewart says cuts to the workforce at Arnold Center could have been worse. The wife of Coffee County head football coach Lee Davis is recovering from injuries that suffered in an automobile accident and the last, uh, last Thursday night, excuse me, and the new study indicates that the staff at the University of Tennessee Space Institute might be underpaid. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Rhonda Saylor. I'm one of the many faces connected with Contact Lifeline of the Highland Rim. For the last 30 years, we've been providing vital services to residents of Bedford, Coffee, Franklin, and Moore Counties. I'd like to take this opportunity to educate you on the valuable role that Contact Lifeline plays in the lives of many, our friends and neighbors. Our reassurance program is critical to many elderly and shut-ins throughout the area who are struggling to live alone in their own home. Our volunteers contact these residents daily to provide support in a number of areas. Perhaps assisting someone in remembering to take their medication on time, reminding them of a doctor's appointment, or just letting them know that someone is there and they're not alone. Over the last couple of years, Contact Lifeline has made over 45,000 calls in the counties we serve. Hard to imagine. So remember, we're so much more than just suicide prevention. We're a helping hand to a multitude of our friends and neighbors, always there 24 seven, ready to listen, care, and help. And we want to remind you that on November 19th at the Tullahoma Events Center, Contact Lifeline will be hosting an evening of pearls and lace. A gala that will feature an auction, silent auction, and dining entertainment by American Idol finalist Aaron Kelly, the Nashville Tradition Band, and several surprise guests. So call us at 931-455-7150 for tickets or send your tax-deductible donation to Post Office Box 1614, Tullahoma, Tennessee, 37388. Telahoma Surgery Center is Telahoma's newest and most complete surgical health care facility. The center combines state-of-the-art surgical care with efficient, affordable, and community-based outpatient service. The staff is committed to providing the highest quality care in a warm, personalized setting. The goal is to deliver excellent care and make your visit a pleasant experience. Telahoma Surgery Center, the area's premier surgery center dedicated to outpatient surgery. Telahoma Drug has a gift for keeping well. You know about prescriptions, but there's so much more to tell. There's a gift for all occasions, for body, soul, and mind. Cards to show you care, gifts to show your kind. There are remedies and recipes and treats you'll want to eat them. Stacks of books from famous cooks and spectacles to read them. Shades and frames, puzzles, games, dishes, plates, and mugs. We're a Telahoma treasure. We are Telahoma Drug. Welcome back. State Senator Eric Stewart says Pentagon plans to cut the workforce at Arnold Engineering Development Center by 18 slots in coming months is bad news, but the Belvedere Democrat, whose district includes Coffee, Franklin, and Warren County, says job cuts could have been worse. The Air Force says nationwide some 9,000 jobs will be slashed in an effort to downsize defense spending. The Tullahoma News Sunday Edition reports that Stewart believes ADC can handle the staff reduction and offer a competitive test environment in the future. Once a major southern middle Tennessee employer, hundreds of jobs at Arnold have been shed over the past decade. Now auto-related production jobs in Smyrna, Deckard, and Manchester overshadow the ADC workforce. Analysts say a drop in demand for the military and NASA testing, along with increased overseas competition, might continue to cut Arnold's payroll. Coffee County head football coach Lee Davis had more on his mind than football entering into a first round match against Powerhouse Riverdale High School in Murfreesboro last week. Davis's wife, Meredith Davis, age 31, and their three-year-old daughter, Olivia Davis, were involved in a two-car collision on Interstate 24 Thursday night. Mrs. Davis reported that she saw something in the, in the path of the left lane and swerved to miss it, sideswiping in the right lane a 2008 Toyota Scion driven by Christopher Weaver, age 34, of Nashville. 
Both vehicles left the westbound lane of the interstate and struck a tree. Manchester Fire and Rescue personnel had to extricate Mrs. Davis from her 1999 Honda Civic. She and, the, and her daughter were taken to Medical Center of Manchester and released. Daughter Olivia was uninjured. However, Mrs. Davis suffered minor cuts and bruise, bruises. Mr. Weaver and a passenger in his vehicle, Joseph Owens, age 27, also of Nashville, were treated and released from Manchester Medical Center. Preliminary results of a salary compensation study show faculty at the University of Tennessee Space Institute in Franklin County only make 84% of salaries paid in the market median. Over the summer, the University of Tennessee commissioned a salary and benefit study to determine how faculty and staff pay rank with peers, colleges, universities, and educational organizations. The main Knoxville campus and the Space Institute have the widest gap. UT Chattanooga salaries were the best, coming in at 94% of median. When when benefits were excluded, faculty at the Space Institute were paid only 74% of market median. This year, UT faculty received a 3% pay hike, the first since 2007. Tennessee seems to be getting more heart healthy. The U.S. Center for Disease Control says the re reported heart diseases in the volunteer state have dropped by some 16% over the past four years. Authorities say a drop in smoking may be responsible for some of the decline, along with attention from family doctors. The heart disease rate in the, in the latest study is 6.9% for folks 18 and older. That's still above the national average of 6%. Tennessee ties with Indiana for the ninth highest heart, heart disease rate. In 2006, the state ranked fifth. The adult smoking rate in Tennessee fell, fell from 26.7% in 2005 to 23.1% in 2010. And we'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. This is J.D. Oliver here at the Smokehouse on Mont Eagle Mountain. My sisters Betsy, Nancy, and I would like to thank you for supporting our family business for over 50 years. Hello, this is Stella Parton, and I am standing here right in the middle of Jim Oliver's Smokehouse Restaurant. But you need to come in here. We just got through doing a show. We also have a music scene going on here, and I want to invite you to come down because it is your mountain destination. Music on the mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. My name's Betsy Oliver. I'm the kitchen manager here. We serve a lot of ribs and barbecue and fried chicken. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Enjoy music on the mountain every Saturday night featuring the best of Nashville. Our family hopes to see you this year at Jim Oliver Smokehouse. Dateline, Tullahoma, Tennessee. Major hailstorm hits hard. Over 100 new and pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs at Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram are slightly damaged. You heard right. Over 100 vehicles slightly damaged by a hailstorm at Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep in Tullahoma. All vehicles with dings must go. Minimum damage, maximum savings. Many vehicles mark thousands off MSRP. The insurance company said sell them. The McNabb's loss is your gain. Stop by today and say the hail damage sale at Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Tullahoma. Hi, I'm Jim Woodard of Woodard's Diamond Showroom. Antwerp, Belgium is the diamond capital of the world. As a member of IJO, Woodard's has a rare opportunity to buy directly from the Antwerp diamond cutter. Woodard's will be leaving for Antwerp shortly to handpick diamonds at substantial savings. So stop in now and have Woodard's choose the perfect diamond for you, directly from Antwerp, Belgium. Only at Woodard's Diamond Showroom inside Northgate Mall of Tullahoma. There's one place women of all ages can find the care they need. The Women's Center at Hartman Regional Medical Center. We're a full-service women's center with comprehensive obstetrical and gynecological surgery. Our excellent customer satisfaction rate is a reflection of our commitment to excellence. To serve you even better, we've now remodeled our facility. Our family-friendly birth center features private labor, delivery, and recovery suites. For every stage of your life, we're there for you. The Women's Center at Hartman Regional Medical Center. Welcome back. 
Emeritus Assisted Living Center in Tullahoma has a new executive director. Jim stopped by and spoke with her during a reception celebrating her arrival. Let's watch. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here today at Emeritus Assisted Living Center in Tullahoma, and I'm speaking with Loretta Jones, who is the uh, executive director of Emeritus. Um, uh, Loretta, tell us a little bit about what kind of event you've got going on here today. Um, we are holding our annual fall tea here at Emeritus at Tullahoma. This year happens to be um, not just the tea, but also welcome to me because I am new here in, at the facility. Okay. Um, I've been here since October the 3rd. Tell us a little bit about your career, um, Loretta. Okay. Um, actually, I started out with nursing about 22 years ago and stayed in the field for a long time. I'm still in the healthcare business. I just do it on a different level. Um, graduated um, in 1990 mm -hmm. from Shelbyville Vocational School as an LPN and just recently finished my bachelor's in healthcare administration. So um, that was one of the stepping points or stepping stones for me to come to be able to um, obtain this job here. So I, I would assume that you must have a passion for this kind of work because you've been in, in, in um, I guess, assisted living related kind of things for a while. Sure, I have. I, I um, enjoy the long term care aspect. The elderly and the elder population have so much to offer, and every day I learn something from them. I get to sit and talk to them and learn about their life and, you know, how they have experienced life compared to what it is now and they you know they help me with you know when I'm getting older and you know giving me everyday experiences you probably have an opportunity uh, to get pretty close to some of the residents since you see them every day and they live here I absolutely do um, actually I've met several that know um, some family members of mine and some grandparents and it's it's just surreal sometimes knowing that you know there's some folks here that 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 hung out with my grandparents and that knew their sisters and brothers and things like that so it's really truly coming home I'm, I'm just blessed to be able to have this um, ability to do this uh, you know, I get the sense as I came in here today, of course, I know some of the residents here at Emeritus, and mm -hmm. and uh, they were telling me about some of the fun things they've been doing today, like uh, <laughs> like uh, playing bingo and, and uh, like playing rook and those kinds of things. So uh, I, I bet you guys probably try to challenge them to stay mentally alert in this environment. Absolutely. Yesterday they played a game called Mad Lib, which is actually a younger person's game, but I think they stumped our activities director by doing that. <laughs> um, but they always they have devotional every morning they do exercise they play bingo they do current events uh, there's something going on all the time and uh, currently how many residents do you have here at emeritus um, we have 37 we have a capacity for 42 so we still need a few good residents so <laughs> we are um, looking for some new ones Loretta, thank you so much. I get the sense that you really enjoy what you're doing because you're smiling. I know when I came in, you were talking to these residents. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for allow thank allowing you. Channel 6 to come out of that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know that the Christmas season is fast approaching every year when the flower shop has their annual open house. John Gray was there Sunday for this year's event and brings us this, re this report. As always, the flower shop is full today. Lovely people looking at lovely things. You'd have to go home and make it. Isn't that beautiful? Holiday time. Hello, home. And that's the flower shop. And then all kinds of beautiful, distinctive ornaments, angels and sprinkles and sparkles and all kinds of decorative things to put around your house at the flower shop. Look at that happy Christmas tree right there. Isn't he something? Here's the moose collection right here. Where's Boar? Yep, folks, here we are back at the room that really counts right here. There's my buddy Kenny Pack. How's everything going, partner? Doing well. Great open house today. Good stuff. You got me some good food over there today? I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to show it right now. What is that? New cookbook. New flower was put together for the 30th anniversary. Wonderful. 30th anniversary cookbook. We'll, we'll see if we can sell some of them. All right. 
the table is always great at the flower shop. You can see some of these fine, fine dips and hors d'oeuvres and different types of cheeses and cookies. And it's always wonderful. And this year they've developed a cookbook, as Kenny said, to uh, let you know how to make all these great things that you get at the flower shop open house. Come see us at the flower shop. We'll be right back with more news later after these messages. Our office used to look like this. But now with my paper-free office from RJ Young, it's easy. We've made all of our files electronic and stored them in our virtual filing cabinet, which gave us tons of space. And Bob here, a big promotion. Melissa can pull files in minutes and spends hours on Facebook. And Kyle's confidential uh, files stay confidential. Uh, we're not totally paper-free, right? Thank you. My paper-free office from RJ Young. It's that easy. I'm Lori Thompson. And I'm Mike Thompson. And Lori and I have bought the dealership back on Highway 55, Thompson Ford, Tullahoma, Tennessee. It's back. It's wide open, open for business, and ready to serve you guys in the community. And we want to thank you for allowing us to raise our children here. We've been here almost 15 years. We want to thank the community. Without you guys, we couldn't have done it. We know it was your support that allowed us to achieve this dream. Come be a part of the dream, something special. Come see us at Thompson Ford. Ask for Mike and Lori. <laughs> Citizens Tri-County Bank has the checking, loans, savings, and traditional banking services you want. Plus free internet banking and bill pay, bank your change, Visa gift card, and lots more state-of-the-art banking services. We focus on the service and services you want. So you can bank when, where, and how you want. At our offices, or from just about anywhere. Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Welcome back. November is shaping up to be another busy month for the Tullahoma Recreation Department. Andrew St Todd spoke recently with Merrill Meadows about activities planned there this month. Let's watch. So Merrill, tell us all about the wonderful things in the month of November to be thankful for going on. Oh, loads of things to be thankful for. <laughs> well, one thing I do want to let people know is November is National Diabetes Month. And we are running a free diabetes workshop. It's a self-management workshop. And we teach you how to be better managers or self-managers of diabetes or if you're pre-diabetes with a lot of great information. Uh, the class started already, but we do have slots available. It'll run until November the 6th. It is free, as I said. Uh, it goes from 5 to 7. It's here at CD Stamps. You need to want to call 461-1080 so I can put you on the list so we can order enough supplies. You're going to get a free management workbook, uh, a free cookbook, a pedometer, uh, all, just all sorts of goodies, the freebies, but not to mention, you know, don't want to forget that you're going to get lots of information. This is being taught in uh, partnership with Partners for Healing and UT Extension, so all three of us are diabetes certified to teach this class, so this is a great thing. Uh, you can't get better information than what you're going to get from this class. So do call 461-1080 and I'd be happy to register for that. I still have about six more slots for that class open. Um, also going on this month, we've got Tai Chi at noon from noon until 1230 here at CD Stamps and that's free. Great way to de-stress on your lunch hour to come on in and do some Tai Chi. Uh, class is free, taught by Belinda Riddle with UT Extension. She is a certified Tai Chi instructor in Tai Chi arthritis, Tai Chi diabetes, and Tai Chi for arthritis, I think is, is what else. She's got osteoporosis and all those other things. She's an excellent teacher. It's a great way to just drop in, de-stress at lunch, and it's free here at CD Stamps, Thursdays from noon until 12.30. So, I want to let you know that we did get our grant from the Tennessee Arts Commission, and our first grant program is going to be on November the 19th at 1 o'clock. It'll be beeswax Christmas ornaments or beeswax holiday ornaments. Beeswax ornaments are a very old world type of uh, ornament, Christmas ornament, holiday ornament, made with beeswax, and no, they won't melt. Beeswax melts at approximately 140 degrees, so unless you're keeping your house really hot, uh, the wax ornaments should last a long time. If you look online, if you buy one of these, you're going to spend about $22 per ornament. So this is a free class, but you do need to call me at 461-1080 to register, and we'll get you going on that class. It starts at 1 o'clock on the 19th here at CD Stamps. Uh, other things I want to let you know about, we've got the Beach Body Fit Club going on now through, through mid-December. 
Thursdays at 5.30. It's a great workout. It's down at D.W. Wilson. It's $2 for members, $3 for non-members. And I'm loving it. I'm burning the calories and getting in shape. So that way I can enjoy my holidays and dig out. I lose a little weight to do that. So we have lots of programs always going on. I encourage everybody to call me at 461-1080. I'd be happy to talk to you about what's going on. You can stop by either community center, D.W. Wilson or C.D. Stamps, pick up a sample. Put them out there every month, or you can go on the TollahomeTN.gov website, click on the recreation page, go over on the right hand side, there's a calendar there. It's a little lengthy to get to, but there is a calendar there, and that's got the most up to date and accurate information. So, no reason for anybody to be sitting at home being bored. We've got lots going on. Always plenty to do. Well, Meryl, we appreciate it. Thank you. And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday evening at 6.30 p.m., also Friday evening at 4.30 p.m. This week's guests include Kat Murray to let us know about her show coming to South Jackson this weekend. Rob Allen will fill you in on the Diary of Anne Franks opening this weekend in Manchester, and we'll have a tribute to Greg Altum. All that and more on this week's Telehoma Living. We'll be right back in a moment with more news leader on 6. Why Traders Bank? The convenience of five locations near you. 2695 Deckard Boulevard, Winchester. 1207 Hillsborough Boulevard, Manchester. 1602 North Main Street, Shelbyville. 412 West Lincoln Street, Tullahoma. 120 North Jackson Street, Tullahoma. Why Traders Bank? The service of 61 friendly, knowledgeable employees meeting your banking needs. We're Traders Bank in Winchester. Come and see us. We're Traders Bank in Manchester. Come and see us. We're Traders Bank in Shelbyville. Come and see us. We're Traders Bank on West Lincoln Street in Tallahoma. Come and see us. We're Traders Bank. Come and see us. Why Traders Bank? The stability of 122 years, locally owned and operated, banking under the same name. Traders Bank. Why Traders Bank? Because you're welcome here. Traders Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Coffee County led Riverdale 7 to 0 for exactly 16 seconds as they scored 21 points on the Warriors' first team defense. The Raiders had just no answer for the speed in the Riverdale backfield. The Warrior offense scored seemingly at will, taking their first play of the game 65 yards to tie the game at 7 to 7. Coach Davis, who previously coached at Riverdale, said, quote, When I was there, and there I saw a lot of teams lose before they even hit the field. I thought our seniors showed up and showed great leadership tonight. I could not have been happier with the way they responded, end quote. The Raiders got the ball to start the game and drove 73 yards in eight plays to take a 7-0 lead. The touchdown came on a 41-yard dub double pass from Peyton Meeker to Chris Murray to Brent Wicks. The David Morgan PAT was good with 8 minutes and 43 seconds to go in the first quarter. Down 14-7 with 3.24 left in the first quarter, Meeker found a wide open D'Angelo Rozier for a 78-yard touchdown pass. The Morgan PAT was good, tying the game at 14-all. Riverdale regained the lead on the ensuing kickoff, however, returning it for a touchdown. Coffee County was moving the ball on their next possession, but a Meeker pass went off the hand of Wicks and into a waiting arms of a Riverdale defender. Meeker made a touchdown saving tackle, but the Warriors scored six plays later to take a 28-14 lead with 10.38 left in the second quarter. The Warriors would expand their lead to 42-14 before the Raiders scored again. CCHS did add a, add a touchdown before the half as Meeker rolled out, escaped pressure, and hit Wicks for a 40-yard touchdown score. The Morgan P. AT was good and the Red Raiders trailed 42 to 21 with 157 left in the first half. The Warriors went on to win the game, however, 63 to 21. 
The Tullamore Wildcats committed six turnovers, three coming in the first quarter as the Centennial Cougars took advantage of the opportunities and shut out the Cats 24 to nothing at Wilkins Stadium Friday night. Actually, the Wildcat offense outgained the Visitors by about 50 yards, but just couldn't keep possession of the ball. There were three interceptions, a fumble, a muff punt, and a block punt. It took the Cougars a little while to begin capitalizing on the mistakes, but once they did, Tullahoma had no answer. The Wildcats looked completely out of sync much of the night on offense. They virtually abandoned their running game, which had been successful all season. Montrell Berry ended his career rushing the football only nine times for 48 yards. Instead, the Wildcats reverted to their early season form, with quarterback Jerry Davis completing 18 of 31 passes for 185 yards and three interceptions. The first two picks came on Tullahoma's first two possessions. As badly as the Tullahoma High School offense began the game, the defense started extremely strong, forcing quick three, uh, three, uh, three and outs on its first three opportunities. But instead of getting the ball after a centennial punt on that third defensive stand, the Wildcats fumbled the punt and gave the Cougars the ball at the Tullahoma 27-yard line. Centennial finally got some points on the 24-yard field goal to lead three to nothing after after one quarter. The second quarter began equally as bad for Tullahoma with Joseph Burks's punt attempt getting blocked on the Cats' first possession. With a short field, Centennial cashed in quickly with outstanding running back Darius Steele scoring from eight yards out with 7.32 left in the half, extending the Cougars' lead to 10 to nothing. After both teams exchanged punts, Tullahoma mounted a strong drive moving from its 21-yard line to the Cougars' 14, where the Wildcats had first and goal. However, three straight incomplete Complete passes ran the clock out, and Tullahoma, within field goal range, went with, into the locker room without a scoring opportunity. Centennial won the game with a 75 yard drive that lasted 15 plays and used 8.22 off the clock to open the third quarter, ending it on an eight yard pass from quarterback J.J. Tomlin to receiver Dusty Lee for a touchdown and a 17 to nothing lead. Tullahoma's 18 seniors end their careers with a, tw a 21 and 13 record during the past three seasons, including last season's trip to the uh, playoff quarterfinals, the first time a Tullahoma team had done that in 25 years. We'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast after these messages. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Here at Russell Barnett Kia we do not have any dancing hamsters nor do we have any sock monkeys but we do have the guaranteed lowest price on all new Kias. Come by and check out this all new 2010 Sporty Kia Soul for $17,995 or check out this new redesigned 2011 Kia Sportage. No sock monkeys, no dancing hamsters, just guaranteed low prices here at Russell Barnett Kia. My question is why buy? anywhere else. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 2005 at 80 degrees. The record low was in 1951 at 17 degrees. The average low on this day is 64, and the average, or rather, average high on this day is 64, and the average low is 40. For tonight, look for partly cloudy weather with a low of around 54. On Wednesday, some showers expected in the morning with a high of 85 and a low of 38. Cloudy weather expected for Thursday in the morning with a high of 54 and a low of 29. That about wraps it up, Jimbo. I believe it does. Get a little cold and rainy and be more seasonal coming up the next few days. And no more high school football, so we've got Saturday mornings free for now. Saturday or, mornings free, so that's right. we're done. All right, that is our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us. It's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsletter on 6. You have a good evening. Have a good night.